Hello, Hal here. Today we're going to talk about using a pick, how to use the pick, how to hold the pick, how to get to the point where you can use a pick. Um, in some of the early videos, I talk about using your thumb just to pick a note. But you know when you're gonna play a song and you want to strum along and, and sing, Notice right now I'm not actually using a pick, I'm just using my finger. One way to get used to using a pick or used to the, the motion that you're going to need to use a pick is just to use your index finger on your right hand. And this is the way I suggest to do it. You take your hand and you, well let's just bend the finger like that, okay? See that? And just at this knuckle and then just, let's just rotate the wrist like this. Okay? Now, you'll notice that my hand is open. That's because what we're doing here is we're just rotating the wrist and the hand is open. Now, a really good thing to do is just to take your thumb and put it on your finger like that so that you support the finger. And I can do all kinds of picking just with this uh, technique. Okay? And you can too. I'm sure you'll be good at it. But you know what? Some people, I've seen uh, some teachers on the internet and different teachers, um, they actually close their hand like this when they pick. and. I don't know how they do that. I'm just going to be frank with you right up front. I have no idea why they do that, and I have no idea how they figure out where they are in relation to the guitar when they do that. I mean, it's okay. But I really don't like it. So what I do is I open up my hand because one of the things that I like to do is I like to touch the guitar when I'm playing. Like this. You can see that um, I'm barely brushing the pick guard right there. Or I might even touch the, the guitar with this part of my hand, the strings, like that. So touching the guitar gets me in touch with where I am on the guitar and helps me to figure out what strings I'm supposed to be playing. Okay, also this open hand gives me the opportunity to mute the strings anytime I want to, like this. Watch my right hand right here. See that? Or I can do this. Okay? Okay, anyway, I like to do it that way. Now let's talk about a pick. Here's a pick that I really love to use. This is called a Tortex. It's made by Dunlop. This one is a 70, 0.73 millimeter, excuse me, 0.73 millimeter. That's a yellow pick. And then here is an orange Tortex. This is a 0.60 millimeter. And then here is a Dunlop Tortex. 0.50. Now, the, uh, the red one is quite thin. What I do to check it, I'm going to put, my th put this pick in between my fingers like that and push on with my thumb and see how thin it is. You see, you can rotate it around and feel the thickness of a pick just like that. Okay? Now, the red pick, the 0.50 millimeter is quite thin and it's really good for beginners because what you do is it, it, it bends a little bit more and, and so you don't have to have as good a technique on your wrist. Okay, it'll just work really better. The orange pick is a little thicker and I like this one a lot and I also like the yellow pick. I don't recommend the yellow pick to be used for a beginner because it's quite stiff. But anyway, what you want to do, remember we just talked about using your index finger to uh, strum with. Just like that. 
What you want to do is you want to insert the pick right there. You just want to put your pick right there. Now, you know, if you look at a pick, and I did this when I first started uh, using a pick, you probably think that that tip right there is the one we're going to use when we play. Now I'm going to mute the strings and let you listen to this. Okay, hear the slap. Hopefully you can hear that. And then here's the slap. I'm going to use the tip of the, the pick on this one too. You'll notice that it sounds different with a different pick. Okay, one of the reasons I don't use uh, the tip is because there's a lot of slap noise. And the pick goes really far into the strings and it doesn't work as well. So what I do is I actually rotate my pick like this. I rotate it so that this point is going this way and I've actually got my thumb like this. There's my finger and I put the pick right there and put my thumb right on top of it. And now you can see that I've got just a little bit of pick sticking out there. Listen to the difference between the tip of the pick and the edge of the pick right there. Okay, hear that? I'm going to do the same thing with the orange pick. Okay, see how I hold it? And then the yellow pick. And I'm going to flip it around. So the sound is very different. I think it's even more drastic live than it is on a recording. Here's the red pick. Flip it around. I love the way that sounds because it has a very mellow sound to it when we use the pick, when we use this rounded edge. Okay, and I always keep my hand open and touching the guitar every once in a while. I can use my palm or the heel of my hand right there to mute the strings. Okay, and we'll talk more about that later also, but that's basically how I use my pick. Okay, remember you, you have your finger, it points into the guitar, you put your pick right on top like that, put your thumb on top of the, the pick, and it looks just like that. There you go. So that's how I hold my pick and that's how I get the tone that I get because the way you hold your pick, how you hit the strings, uh, the thickness of the pick, all of this has to do with tone production and when you listen to the tone production, when you pay attention to the kind of tone production that you have, then people will sit up and notice and say, wow, he sounds really good. All right, that's all I have for you today. Come back and see us again for more videos and tips about guitar playing here at Quail Studios Tutorials. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.